friends and welcome back. And today I have what I've been waiting to get my hands on, the Epiphone Les Paul Modern. With Epiphone's new brand philosophy of doing a mirror image, so to speak, of every guitar in the Gibson catalog, this one has been on my list because the Gibson Les Paul Modern, in my mind, is the finest Les Paul I've ever played. All of the modernizations that they've done to that guitar have truly made it a new classic in my mind. So I have been anxious to see what Epiphone is doing with this. Now, you might say, on an Epiphone Modern, why would I play something like I just did? Well, it can handle the modern stuff as well. <laughs> I mean, it can do the high gain stuff just fine and a lot of ranges in between. Let's go through everything we got here. Of course, a Les Paul, you would expect to have a mahogany back and a maple top, just as this one does. A very nice mahogany neck, an ebony fretboard, 22 medium jumbo frets on a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale. Up on top here, Great addition. I love all the Epiphone guitars that have the locking Grover Rotomatics lock tone ABR bridge and tailpiece, and the Pro Bucker two and three humbuckers in the neck and bridge. And in case a couple of those went by you too fast, I just want to reiterate: we have got an ebony fretboard and locking Grover Rotomatic tuners on a guitar at a $649 price point, just off the bat, before we get into it any deeper than that. But the big question is, what did Epiphone do to take a $2,800 Gibson and squeeze those features into this price point? Well, okay, let's take a look at that. One thing that we have here is the wonderful asymmetrical slim taper neck carve. It just fits the hand better even than the slim C's that I love. And one other difference between this Epiphone Les Paul Modern and the Gibson version is that we have the standard 12 inch radius on this fretboard, whereas the Gibson Les Paul Modern has a compound radius. Uh, but still, this is a great feeling neck. On the back of this guitar, we have the modern contoured heel, which just makes easy access to the upper frets. I really love that. Um, all around, just very nice. Let me clean up the sound here just a little bit and let's go through all what we can get with these pickups. Because this is another difference in the two guitars. Gibson has the uh, Burst Bucker Pro pickups in the neck and bridge and they have them wired for uh, either coil splitting or a true coil tapping. The Gibson Les Paul Modern has some dip switches on the inside of the control cavity where you can actually uh, change either pickup or both pickups to true coil tapping instead of just coil split. Uh, the Epiphone Pro Bucker 2s, just because of their design, these are only coil split. You don't have the option to coil tap these, but I mean, what do you expect at this price point? But let's see what we've got here. And bridge your neck together. And the neck. Okay, I, I got carried away for a minute. I just wanted to, this felt like it had a really good deal of sustain to it. Um, and this does have the ultra modern weight relief. So you've got a very light and wearable and playable Les Paul here. But that was, uh, that was a little bit surprising to me. 
I'm going to do just a single note on here and see what kind of sustain we've got. Wow, that is pretty impressive to me. But anyway, these some great vintage sounding tones you can tell out of these pickups. And it was, I guess, you know, after pro playing on the Gibson burst buckers, to move to this, uh, when I first started playing it, the difference in tone was quite a bit to me, but you know, you kind of expect this. These are, are very vintage outputs. I think we've got like an 8K and a 7.5K DC resistance on these two pickups. Uh, and they have Alnico 2 magnets where the burst buckers have Alnico 5s. So this is a very vintage sounding. And I guess you could tell it's very tight on the bass. Got a lot of sparkle in the high end. Um, but we also have the coil split options on here. So let's take a look. I will say the clear top hats that they use on this guitar are, uh, they've got a nice little ridge on here, so they're a little bit easier to lift up than they were on the Gibson version. Uh, but let me uh, get both of them in coil split mode and we'll go through these sounds. Here is the bridge. <laughs> is pretty nice. That's a good chorus split sound. Okay, both together. And the neck by itself. Very nice chime all the way around on these. Uh, I did especially like that bridge coil split sound. Um, we also, on this guitar, have the ability to throw the two pickups out of phase like we did on the Gibson version. Let's take a listen to that. Obviously, this is only uh, going to affect the sound when you have both pickups active. Uh, this is going to be out of phase with both pickups coil split. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay, and now out of phase in humbucking mode. And just an excellent guitar all the way around. I mean, this variety of tones, ebony fretboard, these Grover locking tuners on here. And again, I've got to stress, this is at a $649 price point. Um, regardless of all the things that aren't right about 2020, this is going to go down in my memory as the year of the guitar. I have seen so many wonderful guitars come through more guitars and more music this year. Uh, it's just mind boggling to me. But another fine entry into the Epiphone line, the Epiphone Les Paul Modern. If you've got any questions about this guitar or any other guitar that might be on your radar, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call, chat with them online, or stop by the store More Music in Evansville, Indiana. These guys are the experts on every brand they sell, and it's their mission to match every guitarist up with their perfect match for their playing style. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for lots of fun, crazy videos, and hopefully some good reviews as well. So, check out this guitar, give the guys a call, and until next time, have a great day. We'll see you soon.